Ciao everyone, um, today I wanted to share a new video of uh, two new devices that they go with the BTT Manta M8P board uh, which is um, the CB1 module uh, basically the um, Raspberry Pi uh, module and the um, the Pi 4B adapter um, I think it's version 1 uh, I just received uh, these two devices and uh, just uh, I wanted to do an unboxing so as usual the boxes from Bitrack are pretty cool okay so first box okay the small dock and inside the box there is the CB1 it is super small I thought it was going to be a much bigger device um, let's see if I can do with one hand okay uh, okay let me help. okay here so this is the the CB1 uh, board. Let me put the dock so you get an idea of how big it is. It's like two docks, pretty much large. It's, it's really small. So here is the CPU, 64 bit CPU. I don't remember um, what's uh, the speed in megahertz. Um, the two memory. I think it has a 512 megabyte memory and this is the Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is only 100 megabit. Most likely that's how they keep it uh, a low cost and they can source uh, the chips. Uh, let me put it in the back. In the back there are just the, the two line of pins. I think there are 80 pins. If I'm not mistaken, 40 or 80, I don't remember. So this is the CB1. So you will install Kepler, the OS image, Linux, and then Kepler on on this device using the uh, using the Pi adapter, or if you are on uh, uh, the BTT Manta. You will install it on a on a uh, micro SD card, and then you put it under the board. The rest of slots for the card, the memory card. Okay, let me put on this on the side, and let me grab the other box. So this box is a bit bigger, and here there is the the adapter. Let me put the box here. Basically, the adapter is the size of an a RPI, Raspberry Pi 4 or 3, whatever you want to. Here. So, basically, there is a USB C um, connector here for power, two HDMI, camera uh, slots four USB 2 uh, and then Ethernet. Ethernet I think is this one is one gigabit uh, probably because you can install both the CB1 on this but even the CM4 from Raspberry Pi and of course it has all the 40 pins uh, layout and then there is the on the back the memory uh, slot to uh, install the uh, micro SD card with the operating system. So basically, you can use this. Uh, you can install the CB1 on top of it, and this, and you will have basically a development uh, environment, a development board to install the OS. Kepler and do the, all the modification that you want before you install it on the uh, Manta board or if you have a CM4 
and you do an other project, you can use this adapter to do the uh, development. Um, and that's it. Uh, I think here there is a, uh, where is it? Okay, oh, here. This is the um, antenna, Wi Fi antenna. That is always a bit tricky to install it. It goes, it goes here, there is a pin. I'm not sure you can see the pin. You install the antenna there. I saw on the forums there are some issue with Wi-Fi and uh, uh, Ethernet uh, connection, but the latest uh, uh, kernel uh, 2.2, I think, is the. Um, let me check. I think it's 2.2. Yes, uh, 2. The release. Yes, 2.2. Has been released uh, 10 days ago. The kernel is 5. Point, so the version of the release is 2.2, but the kernel is 5.16, uh, and it's based on a, a bull eye uh, kernel. And uh, yes, one gigabit image. So. And uh, let me see if they have a change log. Uh, I think they had uh, fixed the Ethernet Wi Fi issue. Anyway, so basically, these boards are useful to do this for the Manta, this for development, both with the CB1 and CM4. Uh, and next video, I'm going to install the OS image and Kepler and start to play around with the configuration and that kind of stuff. Uh, I have the Manta down there so... Oh! I forgot! So on this I put the um, heat sink to put on top of the CB1 uh, since we will do a lot of uh, computing um, it's good to have it. Uh, and also, for my three printer will be on for a long time, so it's always good to dissipate the heat. Okay, so this this that's it, and uh, uh, I'll I'll post more videos uh, hopefully in the coming days and weeks about uh, Kepler and my journey with it installation, configuration and stuff, all the uh, very specific configuration for my new 3D printer. If you have any question, please leave a comment. Uh, I will put in the description where I got this uh, this two. I think I paid uh, 40 bucks, around 40 bucks. Let me check again. Uh, this two, I paid, no, 50 bucks. Yeah, because I, I, I got the heat sink too. Um, and I'll put the manual and all that stuff and please leave a like subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next video bye bye